this video is about septic total knee replacement joint aspiration. I'm Dr. Anil Kumar, consultant specialist orthopedic surgeon. This is a 77 year old patient with a two weeks history of intermittent night fever, pain and swelling of right total knee, four years post arthroplasty joint without complications being treated for recurrent urinary tract infection for more than two years. Clinically, the right knee is, uh, skin is warm, 360 degrees of diffuse tenderness, mild effusion and stiffness and antalgic gait. X-rays showed intact implants, no loosening or osteolysis. So thorough cleaning of the um, knee is extremely important. Here I'm using chlorhexylene with 70% alcohol. Uh, I usually place a, um, a small folded towel or sheet under the knee, which will help to push uh, some of the joint fluid from the posterior joint space to the anterior joint space. At the same time, in a post uh, joint replacement surgery, Fluid can be collected in a loculated um, pockets due to intrasynovial adhesions. Uh, I usually give uh, local anesthesia to the skin, subcutaneous tissue, um, subcutaneous fat, so that it will be a painless procedure. After waiting for uh, one to two minutes, usually use a large bore needle such as like 16 gauge needle and here the most fluctuant area is the lateral patella gutter and you can see the right away you are able to aspirate the um, cloudy looking uh, synovial fluid So syringe, the first syringe is removed and second syringe attached. Multiple samples are taken uh, for cytology and also uh, culture sensitivity. The second syringe is attached to the same needle without removing the needle and joint is um, uh, are compressed from side to side to move the fluid towards the needle tip. Sometimes the fluid can be in pockets, loculated pockets, due to ad intra-articular adhesions, post-operative adhesions. Uh, so sometimes you may have to redirect the needle um, in different directions. And also you can have, the more you apply negative pressure in the, um, in the, in, uh, in the syringe, you can have the um, tissue blocked the tip of the needle. And then he may not be able to aspirate all the fluid from the knee. So this is a, 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 a painful procedure and hence uh, uh, it will make painless procedure if you give local anesthesia. If you like this video, please share and subscribe and thank you for watching the video.